some thunderstorms later, so we'll just have to be ready for those. But today, we are going to do a story about being kind. We all like to be kind, right? Being kind makes you feel good, and it makes others around you feel good. And that's everything that everybody needs, especially when people are feeling a little bad, maybe they're feeling a little stressed, or maybe they're feeling a little worried. All of those things, if you do something kind, that makes the world a much better place, doesn't it? So we're going to read a story about that today. But first, we have to sing, you're right, our welcome song. Are you guys ready to sing today? Okay, here we go. Let's get our papers right. Here we go. There's a place for you. There's a place for me. It's the Goshen Public Library. They have books and things that they lend for free. It's the latest, it's the greatest, it's the library. All right, here's our verse two. There's a place for you. There's a place for me. Our homes are where we need to be. But we'll still have fun and read a great story. Because wherever we are, we are the library. All right. Good job, everybody. Okay. So today's book is called Tomorrow I'll Be Kind. Okay. And it's by Jessica Hishk. And we are reading it today uh, with permission from the Penguin Random House group. Here we go. You can see that. And we're going to find out what it means to be kind and to be a bunch of other things that are really good things to be, too. So, the first page says, tomorrow I'll be helpful. Do you try to be helpful? When I see someone in need. So let's look at that picture. Who might need some help here? This friend, right? like he might have toppled over on his scooter, so he needs a little bit of help. I won't stand by or hesitate. I'll get up and take the lead. And look, that same friend was trying to get something off of a very high shelf. And uh-oh, what happened? The flowers fell over, right? But look, here he comes. He's going to help clean up being very helpful, right? I'm sure you guys are very helpful too. Let's see what's next. Tomorrow, I'll be patient. Wow, that's a big word. Your turn. I'll wait for you. Patient, a lot of times, means waiting, right? So when you have one slide and lots of friends, sometimes you have to Wait your turn, right? And that's called being patient. But here's another way to be patient. And when I'm stuck, I won't give up. I'll take time to see it through. Now, did you know that you can be patient with other people, but you can also be patient with yourself? So if you are trying really hard maybe to learn to ride a bike, or do something else that's kind of hard or challenging, you can be patient with you and give yourself a break and not beat yourself up and say, oh, I'll never learn. You just have to keep trying and be patient and eventually you'll learn just like this little bunny did. Look at that. Okay, let's see what's next. Tomorrow, I'll be gentle to creatures big and small. Now, I'm sure you all know what it means to be gentle, right? You use a soft touch or you speak with a soft voice and you try to be, what's that word again? Kind to others. Let's see. Thinking of what others need, I'll show tenderness to all. Now look on this picture. Who is he being gentle with? like a little brother or sister, right? He's holding the baby very nice and carefully. And look over here. This friend is being very nice and helping his littler friend put the block on the top of the castle. That's being very gentle with each other 
too. Let's see what's next. Tomorrow, I'll be honest. To myself, I will be true. So, again, another big word. When you're honest, that means you tell the truth. That's right. You tell the truth. So, I'll prove that you can trust me through all I say and do. Right up here, you can see that the window is what? It's broken, right? It looks like they were playing baseball outside and the ball got away from them. thing, right? You didn't mean to do it, but look, he's telling the truth and he's feeling bad, but it's going to be much better than if he tried to run away, right? All right, let's see what's next. Tomorrow, I'll be generous. Whoa, look at that big word. It goes right across two pages and show you how I care. Generous means that you share. Simple as that. If you have a lot of cookies and you have a bunch of friends who have no cookies, what should you do? You be generous and share those cookies and everybody gets one to enjoy, right? So let's see. We all have ways of giving back and gifts that we can share. Sharing a book with his friend. How about that? And they're sharing a gift of all these different necklaces that shows that they're friends. And they're sharing the work. Sometimes when you clean up, it's nice to share the work. He's sharing breakfast in bed with his mom. And a hug. And a beautiful picture, too. All of those ways are ways that you can be generous. See what's next. Tomorrow, I'll be grateful. Wow. Grateful means what? That you're happy that someone has thought of you. It says, for what you've given me. Being thankful, right? That's another way to say it. So what do you think he's grateful for? Look at all these presents. Could it be? Maybe it's his all that I have, your love especially. It's always nice to get presents, but getting love is better, right? Because that always stays every day. So he's happy to see, it looks like probably his grandpa coming to visit him. Let's see what's next. Tomorrow I'll be kind. My heart, my guiding light. So look, he's a little sad giving him a hug to make him feel better, right? The smallest spark of kindness shines through the darkest night. Look at that. They're outside, they're watching the stars. So tomorrow, I'll be all these things. I strive each day to be helpful, patient, Gentle, honest, generous, grateful, and kind. And even when it's difficult, because some days it is difficult, isn't it? I'll work to find a way. So, even though sometimes you may not feel your best, and sometimes you may even feel a little grumpy, it's always good to try your best to be all of these things. But here's the bunny and he's ready for bed. He says, tonight I'm very sleepy. So now it's time to rest. And I'll dream of all the good that comes when we just try our best. So it's time for his bedtime. But you just started your day, right? So hopefully this book gave you some really good ideas that you can use throughout your day today to make your day and someone else's day even better than it was going to be before, right? Okay, so we're going to sing our song today. And it's kind of a little bit of a 
made up song that I made up, and it's called Let's Be Calm. All right? So here we go. I'm going to stand up, raise our arms to the sky, and give a good stretch, and then raise our head down low and touch our toes. Good job. All right. Are you guys ready to sing today? Okay. So it goes like this. I'm going to sing the first verse, and then we're going to add on to it. All righty? So it goes like this. There are some things that we can do to share the world together. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Okay, so now why did I do this? Well, in American Sign Language, the word kind can mean a lot of different things, right? But it also means nice. So the word for nice in American Sign Language, or the way you show nice, is to put your one hand out flat, take your other hand, and just slide it along the top. And that means nice. And when you're kind, you're being nice, right? So we're going to sing the word kind, but we're going to sign the word nice when we, when we say that, okay? So that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to sing it one more time together, the first verse. And then I'm going to use some of your suggestions and some of my suggestions to make the rest of the song. All right? So here we go. There are some things that we can do to share the world together. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Okay. So the first thing that I think that we can do is we can share a, what's that? A smile, that's right. Doesn't it make you feel good when somebody smiles at you? So that's a really good way to be kind. So can we all try it? Are you ready? Here we go, let's smile. Cheese. I'm smiling at you, I hope you're smiling at me. Okay, here we go. We can share a simple smile to brighten up our day. Let's be kind, let's be kind, let's be kind, it makes us feel much better. All right, now, my friend Harper, she said that we can help people if they fall down and get hurt. And she's right, we even saw that in the book, didn't we? So that's what we're going to sing next. Are you ready? Okay. We can help people up when they're hurting, let's be kind. Let's be kind, let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Very good. All right, now, Sister Maisley said that we can say thank you and please, which I love, it's always nice to be polite, and that will make people happy. And you know what? She is right. So that's what we're gonna sing next. Are you ready? Here we go. We can say thank you and please and make people happy. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. All right, you guys. Good job. Got another suggestion. My friend Tommy says that we can make sure that everybody has something to play with. That's a great idea. Because when you're playing, and if you have all the toys, and nobody else has anything to play with, they're not going to be very happy, right? And it's not going to be very much fun for you. So, we are going to make sure that everybody has something to play with. Are you ready? Okay. We can make sure everyone has something to play with. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. All right, that was great. All right, my other friend Jasper, he said, and this is a great suggestion too, that you can make sure that when people need things and you have it, you can share with them and make sure that people have what they need. And I think that's a great idea too. A lot of times, you know, we donate to food banks or we do toy drives or even book drives, right? And those help people who maybe don't have food or books or toys or anything like that. And then we can share, if we have a lot, we can share so everyone has something, right? 
So that's a great suggestion. So here we go. Are you ready? We can give when people need so everyone has enough. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. All right. Now I had a few more thoughts of my own. So are you ready to do some more? Are you still in good voice? Okay, here we go. We can do something when we meet someone. What do we usually do when we meet someone? We wave hello, right? And we say pleased to meet you, especially when it's somebody new that we've never met before. So let's try that. Are you ready? Here we go. We can wave hello and say pleased to meet you. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Good job, you guys. All right. I thought of something else that we could do because, you know, we're still kind of sort of home and not really going out too much and not really seeing a lot of people. But a really cool thing that you could do is you can have a note or a card or a picture and you can mail it to somebody that you love to let them know you're thinking about them. That's a very kind thing to do and it's a lot of fun too. And maybe they write you back and it's always really fun to get mail, right? It's always a surprise. So let's try that verse. Are you ready? Here we go. We can send a note or card to let some know we love them. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Okay. I have one more. Are you ready? I wouldn't be Miss Michelle if I didn't say that a way to be kind is to what? Share our stories and our books, right? So that's how we're going to end this up today. So we are going to share our storybooks and read them together. Are you ready? Here we go. We can share our storybooks and read them together. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. It makes us feel much better. Oh, give yourself a big hug. Yay! Good job. Doesn't that feel better? All right. So, I'm going to show you a craft that you can do to help spread that kindness around. You know what this is? It's a rock. Very simple. They're everywhere. You can find them outside. And what you can do is you can paint that rock and you can leave a message to remind somebody to be kind. See that? So, I hope that maybe when if you guys are going to take a walk, maybe not today because it's stormy, but any other day, you can actually paint a little rock that you find from your backyard or along another walk that you do and leave a message for someone else to remind them to what? You got it. Be kind. Good job, everybody. So, I hope you had fun today. I'm going to leave you with a couple little notes. So. Most of you, hopefully, have seen my video that summer reading is coming! Yay! So, next week is going to be my last Friday for a few weeks because I need to prepare. I need to get ready, okay? So I'm going to do one more live story time on Friday next week. Then I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then we're going to come back in July and our whole focus is going to be on fairy tales. So it's going to be fairy tale Fridays. Okay? So we're still going to do Facebook Live. Still going to do 11 a.m. But it's going to be all about different fairy tales. Because the summer reading theme is... Bonus points. Imagine your story. That's right. Good job, everybody. So I hope that you're excited about it. I hope that you're looking forward to it as much as I am. And make sure you keep looking for the videos. We're releasing videos here and there as we're making them. So that way you guys know how summer reading is going to work this year. Um, the big thing is we're using Beanstack, right, for our reading logs. And Beanstack is going to be available for you to create your account on June 15th. So that's not next week, but the week after, okay? So you can watch the video. You can get a little preview, see how it works. And then on the 15th is when you can start making your account. So, 
Most of you remember, most of the summer reading stuff is for kids who are going into kindergarten in September all the way through sixth grade. But we do have a summer, early summer babies, pots, and preschoolers, okay? So those are called the story starters, and that video is going to be coming out to explain that program very soon. So if you are not going to kindergarten in September, don't give up because you still have a chance to do summer reading challenge with us, okay? So that video is going to be coming out very soon. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you quick is, um, starting the week of the 15th, we are going to have Page Turner Adventures. Page Turner Adventures is an awesome duo. They've been with us before, they came and did a live show, and now they've done a ton of virtual content, and they are going to be giving that with us, doing that with us, so we're going to be doing a show of theirs every day of the, week, of the weekday. So that's Monday through Friday, Every day there'll be a new Page Turner Adventures video that we're going to share. So we're going to do that by hosting a watch party on Facebook at 4 o'clock every day starting June 15th. Okay? So look for that. There'll be more information coming, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up so you can put it on your calendars so you know it will be coming. All right? All right, my friends. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you enjoy this nice, warm, summery weather. I will see you next week. Bye.